I've opened a document called Long Sections, and if I look at the navigation pane, I can see there are a number of headings. For, ins for instance, we have a heading introduction, we have a heading background, a heading initiatives, strategies, recommendation and conclusion. These are all main level headings. What I'd like to do is create sections in this document, much like chapters in a book, and that each main heading is a new section and starts on a new page. At the moment, when I go to the top of this document, what I see in the bottom left of my screen in the status bar is section 1. When I go to the end of my document by clicking on conclusion, I'm still in section 1. So this document is one big section. So I'll go back to the top. To break this document into sections, I first of all want to go to the background heading. So I'm going to click on background in my navigation pane. Background is to appear on a new page and to be section 2. So while I'm sitting at the beginning of background, I'll go to page layout in my ribbon. In the page setup group is a breaks button and there are many types of section breaks you can insert. A next page section break will force background onto the next page, much like a page break but it creates a section at the same time. Continuous does not force the text to go onto the new page, it stays on the same page. An even page will force background onto the next even page, whether that be 2, 4 or 6. An odd page will force background onto the next odd page, whether that be 3, 5 or 7. What I'd like to do is create a next page section break and force background onto the next page. Background has gone onto the next page and if I check out the bottom of my status bar, the bottom left, I can see I'm now on section 2. I'd like to create another section break. My next main heading is initiatives, so I'm going to click on initiatives. I'm then going to go to the page layout tab in the ribbon and go to the breaks button and choose next page. And I've just forced initiatives onto the next page and the bottom left of my status bar says section 3. I'll then go to strategies, go to breaks and go to next page. And strategies is now in section 4 according to the bottom left of my status bar. Recommendation, I'll click Recommendation in my navigation pane, go back to the Breaks button and choose Next Page, forcing Recommendation onto the next page and making it Section 5. And lastly I'll click on Conclusion, I'll go to the Breaks button, choose Next Page, Conclusions on the next page and that is Section 6. So I have 7 pages and 6 sections. A section can be 1 page or a section can be 100 pages. They're very much like chapters in a book. Now the next thing is being able to move easily between the sections. We can use our navigation pane which as you can see is proving to be very very handy when you've got styles. I absolutely thrash my navigation pane when I'm working with documents in Word. But another way is to press Ctrl G. When I press Ctrl G it brings up the go to window and I can choose section and then enter a section number. If I type 4 and click go to, I've gone to section 4 and that's verified in the lower left of my status bar. If I was to press plus and go to, it goes to the next section and the next section and minus is to go to the previous section and the previous section. So you can use the go to to quickly go to sections, especially if a section is a hundred pages or a thousand pages, you don't want to be scrolling for a long time. In order to see your section breaks or view your section breaks, you can't do so when you're in print layout. We need to switch to the draft view. Now you could either do this by choosing view in the ribbon and choosing draft, or in the bottom right of your status bar, of course you've got five view buttons, and the fifth button is draft. When you're in draft view, you can see where the section breaks have been inserted. And as I scroll up through the document, this tells me I inserted a page break. If it didn't say the word page break, then it's an automatic page break. But the fact that it says page breaks means I inserted it manually with control enter. Here it tells me there's a next page section break, and so on and so forth as I go through my document. By being able to see the section break, it makes it a lot easier to delete section breaks if you need to. So I can click on a section break and I can press the delete key if I wanted to get rid of a section break. 
and I can go undo or control Z to bring that section break back. Now the reason for section breaks is to modify the page setup of different parts of the document. Let's first of all go back to print layout. From the view tab in the ribbon I'll click the print layout button. There are two sections that I'd like to show in landscape rather than portrait. I want the majority of my document to be portrait but these two sections are going to have very wide tables so they need to be in landscape. The first section is initiatives so using my navigation pane I'll go to initiatives. I want to change this section which tells me in the lower left here section 3 to landscape. The easiest way is to double click the dark part of the ruler. This brings up page setup. I can then choose landscape and if I look down here it will be only applied to this section, section 3. So I'll click OK. And now I have landscape. What I might like to do is switch my view to seeing two pages. On the view tab in the ribbon there's a button called two pages and I'm going to click that. This enables me to quickly check that it is just initiatives that's in landscape. Now the other section that needs to be landscape is recommendation and I could just click it here or I could click it on my navigation pane. I'm going to choose recommendation, I'm going to double click the dark part of the ruler and choose landscape knowing it will only do it to this section and OK. And now I have two sections in my document that are landscape and the rest of the document is portrait. So a reason for inserting section breaks is to, insert your, is to break your document up into various sections. Some sections are landscape, some sections are portrait. Some sections may have these margins, some sections may have different margins. And later on we're going to look at how we can create different headers and footers throughout your document. And for that you'll need to have different sections.